right, uh, I'm speaking with uh, Aaron Crawford uh, of Squirrels in a Barrel and Lares, uh, and he is the organizer of a really unique social engineering capture the flag event that's uh, taking place at B-Sides Las Vegas. It's the World Championship. Uh, I'll let you explain a little bit more about it. We uh, organized a series of regionals uh, at other B-Sides events, and other cities allowed people to uh, do smaller events leading up to this event. Uh, we give people a safe and fun area to practice and conduct social engineering uh, exercises and whatnot. So we have contests centered around an objective. The only way to get that objective met is to go through uh, social engineering, whether it's going up to the hotel staff at the front desk and asking for keys or extra room key, uh, things like that. So we give people a safe way of doing that. And here at the World Championship, we have the entire resort and hotel as the playing field. And we have very little rules in place, so anything goes and people get to actually do what they've always read about or wanted to practice, but do it safely. Okay, and so how many teams are competing? You said you had regional events uh, leading up to this world championship. So far we've only had three people from the regional show up that won. Uh, because if you won at a regional event, you got a trophy with a clue on it, whether it was a QR code or NFC uh, built into it. It gave whoever won one of the regional, uh, regionals an extra uh, advantage over people here. So far, we've had about 15 people show up and sign up and are participating right now. Uh, the event's technically started since about 8 a.m. this morning. It'll go on through 4 p.m. tomorrow when the final reports are due. And in the meantime, the clock's going around the clock, so people can be doing stuff in the middle of the night. So we've got all sorts of stuff set up for people, like uh, breaking into rooms uh, in the hotel, all sorts of odds and ends. So, okay, and See, that's interesting. A lot of people understand uh, uh, capture the flag events, uh, uh, red teaming, blue teaming, uh, you know, trying to hack uh, safe networks and uh, first person in. But, but, but tell us a little bit more about a typical scenario of how someone might go about uh, conducting a successful social engineering capture the flag uh, and winning an event like this. Well here, um, one thing to specify is since it's the World Championship, uh, we have a bigger scale of things and it's going around the clock, you have different odds and ends. In the regionals, someone would win at a regional like in Austin, the team that won the Austin regional, what they did is they actually social engineered the hotel staff and they would go to the hotel staff and develop a rapport like ask for something simple like, hey, I need another room key. Hey, where do you know a good restaurant in the area? Small chitter chatter to get them uh, in the view of their target as uh, more benign and not a, a threat. Then that once they have developed their rapport, they can then continue talking on and start to, if you will, exploit the person by uh, getting things in and getting the person into a different situation. In the example of hotel staff, they're in a compliance situation where they have to comply and service a uh, hotel guest. So by going in and, and making a scenario of you forgot a key or you lost a badge or you lost an item or need an item, they're quick to reciprocate with that item or that service because they're obligated to by their job. So you can exploit that flaw in that uh, system there. So here it's such a grand scale that there's all sorts of odds and ends they can get into and do. So uh, let, let's take this into a real world scenario. I mean, uh, obviously uh, the human element is the weakest link. Uh, why should people understand social engineering techniques better? Because technology is always going to change. And like you said, there's always going to be the human there behind it all. And the human's the weakest link. Uh, training, which this event is part of, helps people with education and gives them a context of, you've always heard about the people making calls from Microsoft tech support. Well, you can actually put yourself in the position of the person calling or in the position of the bad guy here and conduct attacks and it helps people go back to their companies where they came from or their businesses and understand that, well, I did this at the game, maybe we need to restructure our training programs to have the following information or uh, tasks at hand. Excellent. Hey, Aaron Crawford, uh, Squirrels on a Barrel, Barrel and uh, Alares Consulting, uh, putting on the Capture the Flag event here that's uh, based around social engineering. Excellent. Really, thank you for uh, taking the time out, Aaron. Thank you.